Good morning. <laughs> she has, for the past few minutes, been pulling at this. She's noticing the little bears on her feet. That's real cute. <laughs> Good morning, Alihopa. I'm Alexandra. Welcome to my channel and to this vlog. The kids and I are just sitting here having breakfast. Turion, Turion. Pila into Boston. Um, and Miranda as well. She's having some porridge. Um, and I'm just sitting here kind of contemplating my intermittent fasting right now. I'm sorry about all the noise in the background. I can't do anything about that. So basically what I'm doing is I am eating for eight hours between half past ten in the morning or midday um, until half past six in the evening and then I fast for 16 hours and that doesn't really sound like difficult and in the mornings it's not. I have no trouble like feeding the kids and not eating myself. I just drink water and that's completely fine with me. Um, honestly like maybe an hour or an hour and a half before I get to eat I start to get really hungry but as long as I keep myself busy with something else it's fine the evenings however so when the kids are sleeping kind of like the biggest thing of my me time is snacking at night and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to start this um, this diet or whatever you want to call it because I know that it's not good for me to keep snacking at night um, and I have kind of failed miserably this week or at least this weekend Friday and Saturday and Sunday night I snacked and I shouldn't have I let myself snack one evening a week Fridays usually and the others I should just hold off but I couldn't this weekend so that is a bit upsetting to me um, but it's a new week I'm gonna go at it again and try to just be better this weekend that's coming up well not yet but later this week obviously right now I need to just finish up with the kiddos Miranda's drinking some water but she's distracted by her siblings you want water okay um, also the kitchen is a mess so that's my first thing on my agenda for today when the baby's sleeping to clean up after Theo's party that we had on Saturday. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna get dressed and go to preschool and school. Okay, ignore the crying baby, she's tired. I just wanted to show Tyrion's hairdo today. I put up one bun, kind of like Michael's, and Tyrion was not about it. And then he said, well, can I have three? Because I look like a king. I don't know why this is king-like, but apparently it is. So this is how he's gonna go to school today and I, I'm all for it. Also ignore <laughs> the mess in the laundry room. We, like I said, we had a party for Theo the other day and when we have people over, we tend to like put all the stuff that we don't want to be seen or that we don't know where to put it. We just put it in there. I think most people have a room like that or at least a cupboard. <laughs> Okay, also he's calling them spikes, but yeah, whatever, whatever. Let's go to school or preschool. Preschool first, then school. Come on, kid. On our way to preschool today, we... No, 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 here. See you, here. Not by the cars, we go here. We are tossing some stuff that needs to be tossed. I was going to say papers, but it's not like... This is the paper... Um, What's it called? Recycle thing, but you can throw paper in there, so... Ugh, this is so confusing. I mean, like, magazines and stuff is what it's called. But you can throw, like, regular paper yeah. that you draw on and stuff. Okay, <laughs> that was way more confusing than it had to be. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're done. Good job. Good job. Let's go to preschool. Okay, so when I was so rudely interrupted by the camera battery dying, um, I was sitting here on the bed just trying to figure out or to kind of get further along with uh, all the paperwork and all the legal stuff that I need to kind of sort through um, because of my biological mother passing away. Um, and it's just such a frustrating mess and it's driving me insane. I actually filmed a clip for the last vlog 
um, just kind of complaining and about it and then I felt like this is so insensitive and I just cut it out of the vlog but and I'm not gonna do that now I, I mean I'm not gonna go on a rant again but I kind of just wanted to still put that process in the video because as I say very often I'm just so sick of people showing not maybe on purpose but of the fact that in social on social media you just show often the good things and then people think that everyone else has a perfect life when they don't um so i want to kind of share the bad things or just the annoying things or the little tidbits of life that aren't perfect for camera or aren't showing our best like the best parts of our life i think you understand what i mean so i just wanted to quickly say that that's what i've been mostly what i've been doing pretty much all day it's almost 1 p.m and uh yeah i haven't really done anything else except have lunch and now i'm going to go through the laundry and i'm just going to kind of let go of the uh the paperwork legal stuff for the rest of the day because i don't feel like there's much else that i can do right now i need to wait for more things to happen and other people to do things and yeah it's real frustrating though So I guess I'll have to continue this on later. For now, Miranda's happy right there in her baby gym. And I am going to try and sort this out now. Because this morning, we... I don't know if I've talked about this before. But Theo likes to sneak away in the morning. And basically try and get into anything that he's not allowed to get into and so that i i don't wake up because i'm obviously sleeping in my bedroom or nursing around or whatever and theo just sneaks away so we've all always had the baby gate upstairs which keeps him at least on the upstairs like um part of the house and we lock the doors to the rooms where there are things that he could like hurt himself on or that we just don't want him to get into um, and then recently he started learning or he learned to open the baby gate on his own which was like no please don't so we started putting a kind of like a little strap around the gate and the whatever it doesn't matter we put a strap so that the gate would stay closed and this morning apparently he figured that out as well so this morning when I came downstairs all of these boxes right here which are Michael's they were laid out all over the floor fortunately he hadn't opened them because there are lots of tiny little mini wargaming uh, things in there so that could have been a disaster but he also got into this bookcase actually I think he started yesterday in the evening yesterday he was playing with this and uh, we were just kind of too busy with with the cooking and stuff to to deal with it but yeah so that's the long story about why <laughs> this looks like this instead of like all ordered and nice the way I want it like in here on the other side so I can't remember how this was all organized but I'm gonna try and do whatever I can to make it look better <laughs> quickly because this little girl does not like to go without my attention for more than a few minutes at a time do ya no so mommy needs to hurry went quite quickly I don't know why I had such a headache over it but yeah we have all the pet and dog well dogs are pets I mean like animal and pet books in here uh, some books that are just very dear to me and then 
the Harry, Harry Potter series, which is also super dear to me. The first book is not here because I've just started reading it to Tyrion. Then we have Anne Rice books, which I have quite a few of. And then uh, when I was going through, this is the uh, Lord of the Rings. They're not in order. Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, and Return of the King, the DVD sets. Um, I've had these since they came out. I was a Lord of the Rings fanatic when I was a teenager and I was going through some boxes a few days ago and I had a bunch of like DVDs and things that we don't actually watch anymore. We don't even have a DVD player. So I threw most of them out but I couldn't throw those out because they're just, there's just so much nostalgia with those and I think they're also kind of pretty. I mean, they're worn down but the text is golden and all that stuff. So they're gonna get to stay if only to kind of showcase my nerdiness with my vampire books, my Lord of the Rings movies, my Harry Potter books. I think that's, they fit, fit in well there. Yeah, I know, you're getting sick of not having any attention, but at least, at least the bookcases are in order now. So now we can play. Wanna play? Theo, can you see Mona? You're there, but... Ser du mamma? Ah. Va? Mm. Ser du den inte? Åh oh, nej. Can you see the moon? Little blue eyes. <laughs> Hi. Kan vi svänga? Ja. Ja. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Last time we went to the grocery, sh grocery store, we completely failed and um, didn't take a cart and didn't realize that that actually meant that we were gonna be kind of driven insane by, by Theo. Now we have a cart, so it's a better today. There you are. Come the, on, come on, come on. The pink one. It's the cheapest one, so yeah. I actually turned the camera on and put it on the dashboard, is that the word? Um, to show you how, like, like I said with the reality thing and showing the good and the bad, show you how every time we take the kids out of the car or especially putting them in the car, it turns into a fight or someone gets sad or mad or whatever. But just I turned the camera on this time that didn't happen and not because Michael or the kids were aware because they didn't know about the camera I'm the only one who knew about the camera there was no fighting and no screaming well except for Theo's like random screaming but no like mad screaming are you gonna unprove my point what are you saying do you have a migraine he has a headache okay so even though there were were Yes, they would remove Shaglan to Syria. So even though there weren't any fights in the car, we're all kind of exhausted now. We're finally home. Miranda's eating. Um, I think she was really, really hungry. She hasn't eaten in a long time and I completely forgot, so. Bad mommy moment. Um, Theo is blowing on his harmonica that he got at his party on Saturday. Tyrion is watching some kind of Minecraft TV show thing. And Michael has the honor of making dinner today since Miranda's kind of stuck to me right now. Good morning. She slept until 6.45. That's amazing. This is turning out to not just be a good thing. It is now about 10 minutes before we have to leave for school and preschool and usually at 10, and 10 minutes, um, what's it called? T minus 10 minutes, I guess. Um, I usually start putting the clothes on the boys or like telling them to put their clothes on and putting Miranda's clothes on and my own and getting everything ready. We just sat down to have breakfast. 
So we're kind of behind on schedule this morning and it's not a catastrophe or anything but it's just not fun to have to rush, especially not when we're eating. So I told the boys if they don't have time to finish their sandwiches then they can eat on the way. Um, but it's just kind of like, I was so happy that we had all of this time to sleep but now we don't have enough time to just get ready in the morning. There's one right here. She won't sleep. Well, she has taken like two 20 minute little cat naps, but but I can tell that that's definitely not enough for her because she is grumpy and tired looking. <laughs> well, not right now because she loves the camera, but yeah, she's just being grumpy. Um, and still, she just won't sleep longer than 20 minutes. And I think it was the same yesterday, at least the first nap of the day. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing right now, apparently. So we're just gonna sit in here in the boys' playroom and try and tidy up a bit. And maybe that will keep her occupied for a while because she likes to play with, with all the things. Well, that is like night and day. <laughs> Obviously, it's still like dirty. I still need to sweep the floors or vacuum or something, but it's clear. So now the kids can actually play in here. I get so claustrophobic when there's like toys all over the floor so you can barely walk in here because I just, I don't know. The kids don't seem to be very bothered by it, but I am. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's hope so. Michael just called me and let me know that he's already done at work so he can pick the boys up from school and preschool and I always tell him whenever he calls me and tells me that I tell him I love him so much obviously I love him always I love him no matter what but I love him just a little bit more when he calls me and tells me I don't have to leave the house any more times today because that's basically it I have to leave the house and I hate leaving the house <laughs> Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our family videos and we will see you on Monday and thank you for watching today. Hey doll!